Hey everybody and welcome back to Shaq Rudin's video tutorials today. Uh, as requested by you, I'm going to be showing you guys how to compile your mod for Minecraft 1.7.x. So 1.7.2, I think I'm pretty sure that's where we're at so far. It's 1.7.2. But uh, this is probably going to apply for all, all versions of, of 1.7 and maybe even uh, into 1.8 as we get that far. But uh, we're, so we're going to get to it. So we got our modding folder here, um, MC Tutorial. It's this right here, and uh, uh, we just got we just got to edit one file here to to see see what we're doing, and it's this build.gradle file. So what you want to do is you want to open this up in your favorite text editor, uh, something other than than Notepad or something like that. I'm going to use Sublime Text. So here you go. Here's my file. And as you can see in here, uh, there's a bunch of stuff in here, and you're not sure what is all this. There's only one section that we really need to worry about, and that you should ever screw around with. Uh, and that is uh, this little section right here, the version, group, and the archive base name. are right? The only three things you should ever play with when it comes to this. So, in this case, uh, we're going to have the version, the group, and the archive base name. So the version is 1.0. The group is com .tutorial mod, uh, which is basically um, I'm gonna I'll kind of re I'll uh, relate these to our uh, our project here. All right, so we got uh, Eclipse open here. I'm just gonna go through this. So uh, let's pull up our package. I'm just gonna kind of shrink this down a little bit. Shrinkity shrink shrink. Okay, so uh, we got the two. The two uh, windows up here. We're going to start with the the version. So the version what we've set in our uh, main class, uh, we have it set to main class version, and the version is set to 1.0. So that's fine. We can leave that the way it is. 1.0. You can change this to v 1.0 if you want, like that. That's all fine. Another thing that we're uh, that we, and it's not it's not actually going to say like com tutorial mod. It's going to say something else, but whatever it does say in here, you want to edit it and change it. And I think I can actually revert back. So this is what it starts out like, is like this. So uh, first start with combat tutorial mod uh, for the group, which is our package, our main package name. Okay. And then the next thing is tutorial mod, which is basically just your, um, as it says, your mod ID. So our mod ID in here. And our main class file is tutorial mod. This one right here. So that's what we want to set that to. Save that file, and you're done with it. Close it. Get out of it. And then when you're building your mod later on, you can just change those uh, those the version parameter and things like that. And I'll actually show you where that comes in as well uh, when it comes to changing that stuff. So we're done with Eclipse for now. Close out of that as well. So what we need to do now is open up a terminal. And uh, we're going to go CD to our desktop. And uh, from our desktop, we're going to go into our modding folder. So MC modding LS. Uh, so we're just going to show all the files we got in here. So you got this build.grader file right there. And what we're going to type in. So uh, this is going to be different uh, slightly for Mac and for Windows. For Mac, SH, Gradle W, space, build. It's sh space gradle w space build. Um, Windows, it's probably going to be gradle w dot bat space build. Uh, you might, you may also just be able to do gradle w space build. Hit enter on that, and it's going to start building your mod into something that you can use in any any uh, client. So it's it's done. Seven point three seconds. It's all it took. Uh, so now we're gonna go to this modding folder here, and uh, you may say, "Well, where the f where the bejeebies did it go?" So, well, for a matter of fact, I have an answer to, to that question. You go under Build, and then under Libs, and you go. And see, it's right there. Uh, tutorial mod. So now, if I go, I'm just gonna do this again. I'm gonna nano the Gradle uh, dot the Gradle dot. <laughs> Can't even find the file. Build.gradle. 
I'm just going to nano the build dot uh, gradle like that and I'm going to change the version to 1.3 okay save it and now if I do sh gradle build again now you're going to see over in our uh, in the finder here and we're going to get tutorial mod 1.3 so you can easily update your builds very easily it's not hard at all to do any of that stuff but for now I'm just going to get rid of that build 3 or that build 1.3 and we're going to grab this jar file so copy that and we're just going to go over into our minecraft folder so on windows that's uh, uh, press uh, windows r uh, percent app data percent and then uh, it should be in there um, on uh, Mac you want to go to your library so to go to your library it's your user library you want to click on uh, you want to be have the finder application open you're gonna go up to the top and click on go hold down alt and that's gonna give you some extra options here and especially the library folder you gonna open that up application support Minecraft and uh, now we're just gonna go into mods see I already have it installed here I'm gonna delete that one paste in the new one and now we're going to launch the game now uh, one thing that before we actually launch the game is I modified the um, the the profile just a little bit so if you click on so uh, if you ha if you haven't already installed forge uh, all you need to do is you go to files.minecraftforge.net download the installer open that and uh, it will uh, you can pretty much figure that part out yourself. It's it's easy. It's not hard. It's easier than setting up a mod to uh, a mod uh, workspace. Um, and if you got that set up, you're gonna have uh, it's gonna be. It's actually just gonna be called Forge. But I have 1.6.4 in here as well, so I have separate. I've changed the names, but on uh, the one that you have. So for 1.7.2, which for mine is I'm using uh, Forge 10.12.1. Point uh, one zero six zero. All you want to do is you want to you want to go launcher. You want to check this launcher visibility and have it set to keep the launcher open. Okay, and save. What this is going to do is if we open up the developer console, is it's good. It's going to basically going to give us the same console that we have in Eclipse, but in the launcher, so we can see exactly what is going on. Uh, while our mod is, op uh, is opening, so if we have any issues like missing textures, like as you can see right here, uh, sample hoe doesn't have a texture, sample food doesn't have a texture, uh, so you can find all that kind of stuff and you can kind of fix it and uh, things like that, do some troubleshooting. So now I'm just going to open up this uh, world I got here. We've got some chickens around us, and as you can see, our mod is running within Minecraft. That is not within Eclipse. This is a completely separate Minecraft uh, installation, or it's, it's not that. And uh, as you can see, so if you go into your tab, the tab is there. Click on the tab. All of our stuff is in here. Well, not all of it, but most of it. The shock power furnace is in here. Both of them. We don't need both of them in here anymore. But uh, we will slowly fix that as uh, time goes on. It was more for uh, developmental purposes. So there's your uh, active and your active and inactive furnaces, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. We go under tools, and you're gonna have the sword in there. That's actually that's combat, and then tools. See the hoe isn't showing up, and we could easily solve that problem. I'm not gonna go through that in this video because you guys should be easily be able to figure that out. You just read the log file. Uh, and um, like it says Java IO file not found exceptions that means the file was not found it's telling you what it's looking for now tutorial food or the the sample food I never created a texture for that so that that one there is fine but it was the hoe that were, that was a little bit concerning so we find the hoe here and it's just not finding the the, the image file so you can easily look and see why it's not finding the image file within your own uh, um, modding workspace and uh, do all that stuff. So anyway guys, 
thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully your mods are starting to come out. Uh, if if you build them and you used my tutorials to build them, uh, or at least I helped build them, then uh, please send me a link through my website and I will for sure check them out. And uh, why not? I will even do a spotlight on my channel for your mods so that everyone can see what uh, what you've done. And uh, it's going to be great building a community. Uh, update on Chakram.com. It's coming. I'm sorry this is taking so long. Uh, I'm, I'm building a new, a new interface and then I had to completely change the design last week uh, for it to, to handle some few more things. So that's all been done so I've gotten back up to where I was and now I just gotta finish uh, it's not gonna be the site not gonna be, is, is not gonna be completely finished when it goes up but it's gonna have enough functionality for you guys to get help with your mods and things like that so look look uh, out for that coming in the next few weeks I hope and uh, have a good weekend uh, if you work don't work too hard and uh, yeah, talk to you guys later.